am at the NASA Space Center. There is a shuttle just there, looking fabulously worn out at the NASA Space Center here in Houston, Texas. That's the entrance to the uh, Space Center. Yeah, Space Center sponsors. All the, all the petroleum companies, Pepsi, Boeing. Okay, uh, I'm just at the um, Space Center and it would, I'll have a tram at 2 o'clock which would lead me to uh, several different areas of uh, NASA Space Center site. Uh, here is the main hall of the attraction. Um, Johnson Space Tour is actually um, on a little tram tour which will leave at about 2 o'clock uh, which will last for about an hour and a half. So that's uh, what it is at the present time and that's the space shuttle, the nose wheel of the space shuttle and the nose cone and the nose of the space shuttle. taken and then there's the uh, the shuttle tour ancient dream of humanity. For these seven, it was a dream fulfilled. Each of these astronauts had the daring and discipline required of their calling. Each 
each of them knew that great endeavors are inseparable from great risks, and each of them accepted those risks willingly, even joyfully, in the cause of discovery. America's space program will go on. This cause of exploration and discovery is not an option we choose. It is a desire written in the human heart. We are that part of creation which seeks to understand all creation. We find the best among us, send them forth into unmapped darkness, and pray they will return. They go in peace for all mankind, and all mankind is in their debt. Area in Houston. It's one of the rockets here at the rocket center uh, where the, the traditional engines and test rockets have been uh, that be used in the old space launch missions are on display of some of the items of these engines. Okay, here I'm looking at a, a rocket that uh, would propel up to the air. Some 1.5 million pounds of thrust is actually um, it generated through those cluster of engines um, which are accumulatively push this massive, enormous payload up into the sky at 6,000 miles per second. Um, yeah. That's the speed that is actually going to generate, and through that, that cylinder is full of um, uh, fuel, uh, liquid fuel, that will um, take you up to the Earth atmosphere, and then at this point here, it will break up and dis uh, separate, and that will then further thrust forward um, into the air atmosphere, um, to the outer space. Mm -hmm. 